whoa, whoa. Yeah, got it. Wow, rock bass. It's a good one. All right, so this lure right here, while the train goes by, this lure here is a Rebel Helgramite. And I saw it at Sportsman's Warehouse yesterday. And um, so I, I love these little little lures like this anyway. So I picked it up and um, I, was first, I used it yesterday just for a little bit. This is the first time I've really used it. Caught a rock bass. We'll see what else I can get with it. So I caught this little small mouth on this little Helgramite, just casting it and retrieving it. All right, if you didn't know this, most of the time the fishing I do is in small creeks and streams. So I use a lot of like um, light lures, ultralight line. My favorite fishing pole to take is this one here. It's a five and a half foot, just a little fluger reel, six pound mono. And I have a lot of light lures that I can cast with it, but still, you know, reach out a little ways. But the pole and the line is still beefy enough to catch a decent sized fish. Rebel um, Rebel Lures makes a lot of little small um, baits like this, and I have several. This is just a few of them. A few of the Rebel Lures I like using are the Rebel Crawls. There's a few different sizes. I have some other ones. Uh, that one, the Crick Hoppers. Um, little, that's the little Micro Minnow I've been trying. My favorite one I always use for creeks is the, um, the yellow uh, small Crick Hopper. I found a new one that Rebel makes. I didn't know they made it. I went down to Sportsman's um, Warehouse. Uh, looking for some lures just to get and uh, I saw that they had a rebel Helgramite Now I didn't know much about Helgramites before till probably about a year ago I was reading in a, um, the field and stream magazine that I have and talks about how the Helgramite probably catches more smallmouth than any other lure and they're really good for that so um, when I saw this and I saw it in the um, the ultralight size I think it's the only size I got they had about four there's four different colors that I looked up but this is the only one they had so I picked this up and um, I had to try it out. I used it at a river uh, where I know there's some smallmouth and fish. And then I've used it after that. I used it in a creek in town where I catch a lot of fish at and try it out. And um, I, I like the way it works so far. It casts really well, even on the six pound line. Um, casts further than the crick hopper, which I throw on it a lot. And um, it, it catches a lot of fish. It works a little bit different though. It's not going to float across the top. It's a slow sinking. So a lot of times the, as it's falling, that's when I'm catching the fish. Um, but it's got real good action as you, if you twitch it or pull it, it's got um, really good action in the water. I've had fish go after it when it's um, cranking through the water and uh, while it's falling. So uh, here's some video uh, I'm about to show you of me fishing it in the creek and um, showing you how to use it. All right, got a little uh, coosa bass out of this creek here. That time it was right after it hit the water. Hey, <laughs> got a little large mouth. The, uh, the creek here is like kind of building up, a bunch of moss on top. And I just threw the little Helgramite out there, like kind of punched it through, just let it sink. Uh, gave it a couple twists and reeled it just a little bit and then let it sink. And while it was sinking, I caught this bass. I've been seeing some fish go after it as it's sinking. This thing, it, it sinks slow when it goes out there. So um, it's got a slow sink to it. And um, that little sink kind of attracts fish. But I've been getting some hits from little ones and not catching them. But that's cool to catch a little large mouth off of it. I'm just gonna toss it out there in the middle. I don't know how deep it is, but it should be deep enough to be some good fish out there. I'm just gonna toss it out there, give it a twitch and let it sit. Two twitches, then I got one. I can get it over here without sinking in the mud. Get over here. All right, got that bass out of the weeds. That time I threw it and um, uh, the water looks like it's about a foot and a half deep. It's kind of clear right here in this spot. I didn't know what was in there. I just casted, 
I uh, gave it a couple of hits, twitches, then reeled it just a, probably one turn, twitched it a couple times again. Then I was about to start reeling it in, I saw my line go tight. And got a little Kusa bass. It's got some weird blotches on it there. That's just a little Kusa bass. This thing's got real small hooks, so if they take it, it's kind of hard to get them out. You gotta have pliers to get them out. But um, so far, the best action is just kind of twitching it, letting it sit, let it sink slowly, then just twitch it again, just keep it moving slow. Caught a couple on the retrieve and most of them on the sink. All right, another one. The sink is working good. I've cast it a few times. This time, this hole, I just cast it out four or five times, reeled in. Thought I felt something tug at it one time. Then I cast it out and let it sink, worked it back, let it sink, worked it back, let it sink. And I caught this little red breast. There's another uh, red breast. Just threw it through the moss. Jerking up, letting it sink, jerking up, letting it sink. Since I can't reel it through the moss anyways. And he just took off with it. There's a little bass. That's a bigger, a little bit bigger fish than the, the small ones I was catching. And that one, I just cast it under the bridge and was retrieving it. But I barely got him in the lip. But I was just casting and retrieving. Got that little bass. There's another small one. That time, I threw it in the same spot. I just caught that other fish. And um, I, I reeled in some, stopped, paused, kept pausing, reeling, pausing, twitching, and then got it. Uh, so far what I've seen is these uh, this, the lure works really well but um, the fish kind of want to see it dance and stuff and they want to see it just stop all of a sudden stop move stop and then they attack it so all right, it's a little one there.